Hey crafty friends and happy 2019. I am back with a process video for the Hip Kit Club design team and let's just say all aboard the struggle bus for this one because this my assignment for the Hip Kit design team this week was to make a, uh, a layout using the main kit only and this is actually the second layout that I'm making using the main kit. If you follow me on Instagram or you're a member of the Hip Kit Club Facebook group you'll see the first layout I made um, for this assignment and um I do most of my filming YouTube videos on an old iPhone because while I have a giant DSLR, it, I cannot figure out the override for it to like not stop recording every 12 minutes. And it's really frustrating to like have to stop every 12 minutes and like restart the filming. And that's just something that the Canon Rebels have. So I do most of my filming on an old iPhone. And today my phone just decided it was not going to cooperate and it didn't film any of the video. So. This is my second try at this layout, and um, I love this layout almost as much as the first one. I'm going to be 100% up front. So again, if you're not following me on Instagram, please go to the Hip Kit Club Facebook group so you can see what I made with the main kit, because if you do subscribe to the Hip Kits and you only get the main kits, there's tons of stuff you can do with them like you don't have to feel like you need the embellishment kit and everything else to make layouts because I made two fully fleshed out layouts with just the main kit so it's a hundred percent possible and you know me I put everything on the page like it's embellishment central and I still got two really comprehensive layouts and I still have more stuff to make more so um so again, I'm making a layout with the main kit only and what you see me doing here is layering a bit of pattern paper um the December kits were full, like chock full. I think there's only like two products that weren't, but chock full of Hip Kit Club exclusives. And it was a pleasure to play with products that Kim and Kimberly designed. Like it's one thing to be able to, you know, pull products that other people designed to make a kit club. And it's another thing to be able to design your own products and make a kit out of it. So kudos to them. So this is my third layout actually fourth this is my fourth layout using the december kits and i am obsessed so again if you don't follow me on instagram i went to georgia for a week um for christmas it was the one of the first times in a very long time that my most of my extended family was going to be together i mean growing up everyone was in brooklyn everyone was local and then we all grew up and people started going and moving out so i have family in georgia i have family in vegas i still have family in new york i have family all over and it's been quite some time since i've seen you know some of my cousins and some of my aunts so we all went to georgia for christmas and it was amazing and I'm not used to being in so many pictures because I'm always taking pictures, but I did get a few good selfies and we got some like really cool family portraits. And so one of the days we were in Georgia, we actually had professional portraits taken. So my cousin dragged us out to a park in the middle of the cold because it's December and we go to the park and we do this like photo shoot. Um, so while the photographer was taking pictures of other people, I grabbed my camera. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning. So the sun was like perfect lighting. And my cousins and I took this selfie. And it's one of, again, many selfies that I snapped over the week. But it's one of my favorites because, you know, we're wearing makeup. So we actually look like real people. And these are my cousins that were supposed to be my bridesmaids in my wedding. And the backstory the day before Josh and I were supposed to get married there was a blizzard in the northeast um and so I want to say 20 percent of the people that were supposed to come to our wedding didn't make it because of the snow so um my cousins who were supposed to be in my bridal party they live in Vegas and they didn't make it to the wedding they like sat in an airport for like eight hours and their flights were grounded and they didn't make it so this is the first time I've seen them since that so it was really special to me and so I'm going to stop babbling about a bunch of random things and actually talk to you about the process so I, <laughs> I layered a bunch of photos now the exclusive kits came with a chipboard pack and one of my favorite things to do with chipboard frames is instead of hiding it behind a photo is cut it in half so you see it on both sides of the photo so i cut two frames in half one was like a red and white kind of candy cane striped and one was like green and white i pulled off some of the chipboard backing that's like another unsolicited scrapbook pro tip but if you want to use chipboard and you're concerned about bulk in your layouts what you can do is just rip off the chipboard like chipboard is literally layered card i want to say it's layered cardboard 
So if you, and again, you just literally have to pull off the chipboard backing. And you can do this if you want to use like chipboard in a traveler's notebook and you're concerned about bulk. If you want to use chipboard in Project Life and you're concerned about bulk, this is an easy fix. It's just pulling off the chipboard. And the next thing I did was I pulled out what I had left of my embellishment pack and I started layering embellishments on both sides of the page. Oh both sides of the photo. And this is something a little bit different in terms of my normal process. Normally I like glue things to the page and then glue my photo on top of it. And today I kind of did it in reverse. So I just glued things to my photo. So now I have this giant photo cluster thing with all my embellishments. So that gold and white chipboard says Holly Jolly. And again, it's from the chipboard pack. And every piece of chipboard I use, I pretty much do the same thing. I rip off most of the chipboard layers just to make it a bit flatter and add it to my page. Now the chipboard pack came with these fun photo corners and oh sorry about that my computer's making strange noises while I'm trying to do my voiceover. But the chipboard pack came with these photo corners. So I attached it um, I used two on my previous layout, so I'm using the other two on this layout and I attached it to the um, left, top left, top left and bottom right corners of the photo. And it, again, they're just embellishments. I really like the way they look. So now I'm going through the chipboard pack again and just popping things out. One of the things I love about this chipboard pack is that you can pop out the embellishments so you can kind of audition them that's like one of my favorite things to do when i'm scrapbooking is to try a piece out before i actually put it on the page i have i like to joke that i have commitment issues but honestly when it comes to scrapbooking i do have a bit of commitment issues so i always like to put things down first to see how they're going to look before they're like stuck down and then you can't move them so what you see me doing is fussing a bit with these like they're kind of like holly berries. I want to say they're like holly berries um, and they're off the chipboard sheet. And part of the reason why I'm using so much chipboard is on the previous layout, I like used 90% of the ephemera pack because again, I have no self-control when it comes to sticking down bits and bobs. But the chipboard was full of so many different shapes that it was like totally okay that I had used a bunch of the, you know, quote unquote, paper ephemera because again as long as you rip off the backing the chipboard becomes really flat and it just becomes ephemera so I added the holly to the left and the right and that's one of the things I like to do um, I'm not sure if this is like one of those design principles but I think the best way to achieve balance in a layout if you're going for balance sometimes you're not going for balance and you want those like asymmetrical layouts which I love but I do a lot of things on the both sides of my photo um, that's just that's what I do I'm comfortable doing it that way and I like it so if I can do it that way that's the reason I use both of those holly branches I put one on the right side and one on the left side now I'm grabbing that blue snowflake and part now that I'm looking at it, maybe I could have used a piece of blue pattern paper. My pattern papers, I've only I use red, green, and like white. Um, and then I started pulling in blue embellishments. So then I had to keep pulling in more blue embellishments so it didn't look random. And the first thing I did was put down that blue fox. And then I was like, oh no, that's the only blue thing on the page. So you know what I did? I put a bunch of blue stuff. So I added a bunch of blue ephemera. Now I'm just using some glue in my fine line bottle to stick it down. And right around here, my phone decided that it had just had enough of recording my layout and it stopped recording. Thankfully, it stopped recording while I was gluing down my photo and I realized that it had stopped recording. So I like restarted it. But what you didn't see me do is add a few of chipboard and puffy stars. So the puffy alpha pack came with a bunch of different shapes. It had like trees and circles and stars. So I added a gold chipboard star to the top and bottom, and then I added a bunch of puppy stars just to have three stars on the top and three stars on the bottom. And now my photo cluster is glued down and I'm working on my title. Now I have a bit of trouble with my title because this is what I get for not doing what I normally do. Normally what I do is if, the, if I'm working in a small space, I'll put the alphas on like a piece of wax paper or something first to make sure that it's gonna fit. And I didn't do that. And so one of my favorite like holiday sayings is Merry, Bright, and Fala La. Like if you, again, if you watch me scrapbook or if you follow my December daily, that is something that pops up very often in my scrapbooking. I just like that phrase, Merry, Bright, and Fala La. And so Merry was in the puffy stickers and Bright was in the puffy stickers and they were completely different fonts. So I was like, 
okay, I can totally pull in these blue chipboard alphas for the fa la la. And then I realized that I didn't leave myself enough space, so I ended up ripping them off and doing them again. On the bright side, the sticky part of the chipboard pulled off really quickly off the page thankfully and so I was able to move it down but now you see I have a little bit of a gap on the left side of my page and that's totally unintentional and it's driving me crazy like I'm sticking down the Mary and just trying to figure out what I'm going to do to fill that gap it's like it's like nagging me because it, it looks it doesn't look intentional if it, it like I don't know, go with me. It doesn't look intentional, it's driving me crazy. So I go back into the chipboard and I start pulling out bits that I think I can use. I really wish my computer would stop. It's Facebook notifications and I need to turn them off when I'm doing voiceovers because they're like, ah, stop it. So what I do is since I had um, that black and white tree on the right side, I grab this black and white tree for the left side and rip off the chipboard backing but now it's making my holly jolly look all bumpy so I ended up lifting that up and putting some foam tape underneath and then I add some puffy stickers and I call it good so I hope you enjoyed this process uh, I hope you enjoyed this ride on the struggle bus with me um thank you so much for watching please comment like subscribe and don't forget to go to the hip kit club website and grab a december kit of your own the december kits are still on sale I know we're in January and I'm just going to tell you up front, the January kits are delicious, but I'm sure you have plenty of Christmas photos you still need to get to scrapping. So again, head to the Kip Kit, uh, Hip Kit Club website and grab a kit of your own. And don't forget to keep it crafty, friends. Have a great day. Again, happy 2019, and let's make this the craftiest year yet. I'll see you around.